I'm gonna clap. I'm gonna sync the fucking video. Jeez. Okay, well, what a pain in the ass, but I guess it fucking works. What's going on? Welcome to another episode of uh, Wisping 101. <laughs> The last episode, I showed you how to connect radios, the settings you need, and how to get them to actually talk to each other, all that good stuff. This one is going to be what to do after that. So you got the radios connected, now what? Well, there's a few things that I always, always, always change on these. In wireless, this is where you put in your SSID and your password to actually get connected. You're pretty much done in here. You don't have to do a whole lot. Network, uh, always, always, always set a static IP and take notes. <laughs> Make sure you remember what IP is assigned to what CPE and everything because this address is what you go to get into the radio. When I first set this up, I, I either forgot the IP or it was on DHCP and changed or something. I don't remember. But man, I couldn't get into the radios. Oh man, what a, boo, what a pain in the ass. So yeah, make sure you take notes of what IP is assigned to which CPE because it's kind of important and learn from my mistakes and use static. <laughs> Once that's done, that's really all you need to do in here. If you want to do traffic shaping, this is where you do it. If you want to limit people to, you know, uh, 4,000K would be roughly four megs, if my math is right. Uh, burst is up to however many kilobytes. So if you give them like 100K, they'd be able to download something up to 100K at full speed. Um, I have that set up on I do all my uh, traffic shaping on the sector. Pros and cons to this, it theoretically isn't really the best way to do it because if you do it this way, if you set it to say 20 megs and you have two houses using 10 megs, it's gonna throttle everybody. <laughs> but I haven't had any issues. Um, I have it set to like 60 or 40 or something like that, I don't even remember, with a burst of however many, and no problem. It, it works just fine. So. Um, I'm going to be redoing all this soon anyway, theoretically, so I'll probably end up doing it on the CPEs after that, but for now, it works just fine. But yeah, if you want to do traffic shaping, there you go. Next up, services. Um, you can do whatever you want in here. Uh, I don't really, nothing in here really of interest. This is the last page that you really have to go into because first, always name it. When you're looking at it in UNMS or when you pull it up in um, the app on the phone, the UNMS app on the phone or whatever, that's the name you're gonna see. It's actually pretty nice because Oh my god. This is the jankiest shit. I can't pull this up because the page keeps doing that jerky thing and watch, it'll go back down. What a piece of shit. Don't update your damn firmware ever. <laughs> anyway, also when you're looking at your uh, sector antennas, these are the names you'll see. So make sure you name them. It, it makes telling them apart easy. <laughs> and the last thing you wanna do in here is change your damn password for the, this is the admin password you use to log into the radio, so make sure you change it. Other than that, you got some tools in here. Air view is very, uh, very handy actually. It'll show you where the, the noise is and where the clean frequencies are. It's actually a pretty good tool. Site survey shows you available networks by you as well. That's also pretty handy. But yeah, that's, that's about it. You go in here to get everything all connected, your SSID and your, your uh, wireless password. Then you come in here and set your IP, do any traffic shaping if you want, get out of here. You used to have to go to advanced to get to traffic shaping. That's kind of cool. They made it under simple. That's good. I think a lot of people are gonna use that, so it's good, it's easy to find. You can skip services, go in system, name it, change your password. That's it, that's all you gotta do, and you'll be up and running. In other news, I updated the one sector antenna, and man, the new firmware is garbage. Hot garbage. Doing that herky-jerky blinky thing where it'll scroll all the way back up again on its own and uh they took out the capacity down here like the old firmware it just shows your throughput it doesn't show your damn capacity anymore i actually made a post on the ubiquity forums like you know what gives this noise right here i know it looks really bad but it's just noise from all the cpes um i wish there was a way to stagger the cpe frequencies 
as far as I know, there's not a way to do it. They all have to be on the same, you know, whatever frequency you set. Why is it all like getting herky jerky? And it was doing that on my phone too, where if you scroll down, it scrolls back up. It is incredibly annoying. This is the new, the new firmware 8.7. So if I go into my other sector that I haven't updated yet, it's the same exact radio just running different firmware and look how much better it is. It doesn't do that herky jerky auto scroll nonsense and it actually shows you your damn capacities. But see, it doesn't it doesn't do that stupid auto scroll back up thing. Man, they need to fix their damn, uh, the new one sucks. They need to fix this damn thing. See it going eh, 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 and it scrolls up. I thought it was just my phone doing that. Like it wasn't optimized for mobile or whatever, but apparently it does it on damn desktop too. This is why I don't like updating. I don't like doing that at all. If it's working, I would much rather just leave it the hell alone. But, you know, sometimes you gotta do it. The radios were doing some kind of weird stuff yesterday. I've actually had that happen before and when I updated it, it stopped. What it was doing was I could even see on the, the meter or the graph right here, it would work, 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 stop. And then go back up, work, work, work for a bit, stop. Just drop to flatten nothing for like two or three seconds and then go back up and then stop and I go back up and I was like, what the hell? So I updated this radio in an attempt to fix it, which it didn't. Um, I still don't know why it does that or did that last night. It was, it seems fine today. Everything's chugging right along like it should be. God, that graph is so shitty, man. What are you doing ubiquity? And you can go in here and turn off the ones you don't want to see. So if I just want to see the receive capacity for the sector radio, there you go. Or transmit capacity, you can go in here and just look at your, your throughput. Yeah, my uh, receive throughput isn't much. <laughs> but down, that's your down speed. This is what the sector is actually sending out. So out of 10 CPEs connected to it, it's only doing, say, up to about 45, ooh, 57 trucking makes it real easy to see though you can go in here and do whatever the hell you want yeah not anymore piece of shit i don't really care about latency i usually turn that off but yeah you, you only see throughput now no more capacity it's like what the hell ubiquity what are you doing to me uh, i don't know what you're doing sometimes ubiquity but yeah that's pretty much it this super basic stuff i had to learn just completely on my own because i had no idea anyone else even did this stuff <laughs> so i just had to you know play with it and figure it out Hopefully you guys can check these videos out and at least save a step, maybe save a few minutes of, of headache or heartache. <laughs> if you found it useful, let me know. Be sure to like, share, and sub and all that happy nonsense and join the Discord. I'll put a link in the description. For now, later.